Legendary Gang. So it's all boys, man. It's boy Legendary Donald back in the reaction today. We got a familiar video. You know what I'm saying? We got triggering every NBA fan base. You know what I'm saying? That means every single team. Now, the last time I did one of these, I had people complaining, oh, you didn't give enough commentary. You didn't do. If you don't watch the video, I'm not going to make you watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? Just click off. It's all I ask. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, you do make sure I come rotate cap. Appreciate everybody rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just had to get that out, bro. You know what I'm saying? We just we just here chilling and enjoying. I'm not trying to over talk on the video. You know what I'm saying? NBA get to superstar it. fan bases, but I've yet to do a video triggering NBA fan bases until now. I have lots of venom saved up for this. Y'all didn't debate. Let me play. pause real quick. My favorite teams are the Bulls, Grizzlies, and Thunder. You know what I'm saying? Your team is my target, Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks are never a real threat to win a title, even when they're good. Trading Luca for Trey Young on draft night was a massive mistake. Young puts up nice stats, but his shot selection and defense are atrocious. He isn't a great <laughs> three point shooter, and he looks like a lollipop that fell onto a rug. He'll never win anything, just like the rest of this irrelevant franchise. Damn. The Celtics are tied Even with most Murray? titles in the history of the sport, but the vast majority of those came in the Jim Crow era, so they don't really count. Just one measly title over the last 36 Ooh, seasons. Crow. The same as the Raptors and Cavaliers. Larry Bird was a good down Magic bad. Johnson and is a massively overrated playoff performer. I would slander Bill Russell, but all you racist... Of course, Russell Thompson is such a not really double quite a lot of racism. I ain't gonna lie. Now there was uh, I don't know. I'm not from Boston, but I've been hearing there's a lot of racist like people in Boston. You know what I'm saying? And there's, it's been a reason of that's why a lot of superstars don't go there. You know, say so they had to draft their superstars. That's that's what I've been hearing. Texas ass Celtics fans already did that by breaking into his home and shitting on his bed, among other things. Jason <laughs> Tatum is just another Paul George, not a superstar. Brooklyn Nets. Damn. Fucking name. The net the entire franchise history is two finals trips Jason led by Kidd? wife beater slash drunk driver Jason Kidd. Largely due that's, to playing that's, in the worst that's conference in not a good history. Look. You had one shot to be relevant again in 2021, but fuck that up thanks to Kevin Durant's overgrown feet. Kyrie's bullshit might not trigger you anymore, but I know what will. The no, that's fact crazy. That the Knicks are one of the worst franchises in sports over the last 25 years, and they still own New York over you. You'll always be second fiddle to a team run by James Dolan. Ouch. Charlotte Hornets. Damn. How do I even slander a franchise that has never even made a conference? Nah, that's down bad. Did I talk about how Kemba Walker was an inefficient elf? And they didn't uh, make the playoffs for five. Michael Jordan, go. What do you. Hey, is this? It's Photoshop. But smoke cigars and gamble recklessly. Oh, Photoshop. LaMelo Ball is hyped up as a future star when in reality he's an overrated hot dog who doesn't actually make the team better. I would trade him now while he still has value. He's a glorified huh? Jason Williams with a famous family. Chicago Bulls. I don't know. Oh, we got the Bulls. Anybody how badly the team has been run over the last couple decades, so I won't go that route. Instead, let me go after what they hold dearly, which is the 90s. MJ's competition, especially in the final. Was complete dog shit. Oh my fucking god! Shut up, bro. Why do people keep saying this is team with John fucking Stockton? That's not. That's not terrible competition. Shut the hell up. This is competition. I don't care what nobody says. Defense in this fucking era is way better than this shit right now. The shit so defense. Nobody even cares about defense right now, and it, and it shows. Yes, it was. Don't you talk back to me. MVP yeah, I'm talking back. Peak years coincided with all the great teams that owned his Look at that. He threw the seven fucking three. If MJ had to face the KD Warriors in the finals, he would have retired mid-series. Stop Jared it. Rose didn't deserve Stop his MVP, it. and he also admitted... Stop he it. Stop. That's ...while on trial for sexual assault. So humble, Cleveland Cavaliers. Bro, you got it fucked up, bro. Derrick Rose d deserved the MVP by far, bro. I don't even know who else this season. Probably LeBron, you know what I'm saying? But there goes... You know what I'm saying? The youngest MVP. You feel me? I don't care what nobody says. That was a shit take by. This team you know what I'm saying? You entirely on shit whether take. or not LeBron James feels like playing for them. I'm not sure insulting LeBron triggers Cavs fans because I don't know if most Cavs fans even win NBA championship, five NBA Finals appearances, nine playoff. <laughs> this is the goat. So called like LeBron. I know Could most be do, but there's this weird subsection of Cavs fans who still hate LeBron because he left them twice, even though he's the best player ever and he gave them 11 seasons, and most Facts. importantly, the most memorable title in sports history. 2022 was the first time in literal <laughs> decades this team showed any promise. No, I ain't gonna lie, that's sad. Them. But I'm here to that's tell sad. you Darius Garland and Evan Mobley are not Damn. good enough to be the lead dogs on a title team. Your best case scenario is being the Midwest version of the Hawks. Very sad. Dallas Bro, Midwest version. Kaminsky's 2011 title is massive. 
massively overrated and wouldn't have even happened had LeBron not thrown the series. Dirk was a career playoff loser outside of Jordan that one throw that. season. Now the team has okay. stumbled into another generational talent in Luka, and I already know yeah, that Luka won't fat in the mud. because he has the ball too much and doesn't play much defense. Mark Cuban holds himself up to be a good guy, even though the team's front office history under his watch is full of sexual misconduct. Did you know Damn. a 15 year old girl got abducted at a Mavs game just a few months ago and was found weeks later in a hotel being sex trapped? What a family friendly environment, Denver Nuggets. I'm a big crazy. fan, but his two MVPs are some of the most forgettable MVPs. No, I ain't in doubt. Yeah. He has devalued the award to the point nobody even cares about it anymore. He will never be the best player in the league because defensively he gets picked on in crucial moments like we've seen in the playoffs over the last several years. Let's be real though, not even Denver really gives a shit about the Nuggets. The Nuggets could win the title <laughs> on the same day as Russell Wilson <laughs> posting a video about loving That's Jesus, sad. and Wilson's video would lead to Denver news. Never I ain't gonna hold I forgot Denver was a team. Detroit Pistons. The Pistons hey, and that Jamal, bro, I remember that. It was in court team. That Jamal Murray got linked. I was disgusted. Good what? 15 years. So let's go back in time to their glory years. Pistons Bro, the choice. Ass. They haven't been done since. Robin were out there Saucy shooting Billups. rocket launchers and stabbing people with machetes in the late 80s when they weren't. If the bad boy <laughs> Pistons played in today's league, they would get demolished. Isaiah Thomas is considered an all-time great despite only having really? like two or three legitimately great years and being washed up before turning 30. He was also accused of sexual harassment. While fellow franchise hero in 2004 finals and he was grown ass men, bro. Sexual Come on, man. That's sad. Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry's legacy is built off of Kyrie getting hurt in the 2015 Finals and begging Damn. Durant to join him in the Hamptons like a little bitch after blowing a 3-1 lead in the Finals. <laughs> That's also to say nothing about Zaza Bruh. deliberately injuring Kawhi in 2017 and Chris Paul's hamstrings exploding in 2018. Steph has never facts. beaten LeBron on an even playing field and he will never be on LeBron's level all time. LeBron was the best player for all of his titles. Facts. While and I'm God damn, Steph Curry in the fucking he will never be on LeBron's level all time. LeBron was the best player for all of his titles while I never thought it ain't gonna lie, I don't even remember seeing it. But I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Uh we need to stop comparing LeBron and Curry. LeBron is a better player than Curry, man. Curry's my in my top five. Was he ain't no damn LeBron though. For half his ranks. He finally broke through to win finals MVP on his sixth Whole bunch of bricks. Year, and now he has the same postseason resume as Tony Parker. Big John Morant, Steph John Morant makes that. The, game, the analytics movement. No cap. Steph is a terrible defender no matter what anybody says. That's low-key he cap. He's not terrible. In the fourth quarter of playoff he's decent. Thankfully for him, he's always had clutch teammates to make the pressure-filled shots for him. Steph fans think that his gravity, a.k.a. him running around in circles without the ball, makes him the second damn. best player ever. Please fuck Whole all the way bricks. You fucking dipshit. Steph Curry since the 2016 NBA Finals on shots to take the lead in the fourth quarter. Let's pull up LeBron's too. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real on that. You feel me? Eight for 34, four for 21. Curry, this is down bad, man. This is down bad. Houston Rockets. James Harden helped revitalize down the franchise bad. and at the same time is the worst superstar to ever watch play and one of the biggest chokers in NBA history. This is if facts. Harden had played up to his regular season standard in the playoffs, I remember the this. Might have Bro, nobody played for the Spurs this game, but I don't know. 27 straight threes at home in Game 7 with a chance to knock the Warriors out in 2018. That's sad. Team is beloved by everybody. Me, respectfully, that's just me. I'm not missing 27 MJ threes. Suspended, and he only made it past the second round four. MJ suspended, does doesn't count. Yeah, MJ would have smoked them for real. Would have had eight rings. Feel me? Uh, not a lot of deep playoff runs. Times yeah, in 18 this year career, Shaq was better. Indiana Pacers. The Pacers are always irrelevant. And Bro, I the forgot the Pacers were a team. Good, no count. To watch. I've never heard anybody say, yo fam, put the Pacers game on. This team is always <laughs> terrible offensively and pretty good defensively, and they've never won anything. This team will always be known as LeBron's bitch in the postseason, and their current roster... Bro, I'm not, I haven't watched the Pacers since, post- like, David West, uh, Paul George, Roy Hembert, uh, George Hill... Danny Granger, I haven't watched them since. I'm not gonna lie, and I probably won't watch the Pacers since unless they play the Bulls or the Grizzlies this year. I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably be bored out of my mind watching the Pacers game. One of the most overrated <laughs> movies ever, and Jimmy Chitwood suck ass. Los Angeles Clippers. The biggest paper tires in the NBA for Nah, the this team's decade. sad. Los they at least should have went to the finals. Failures ever, and so far the Kawhi Paul George era has been just as bad. LeBron's Lakers have gotten more hate over the last three years while winning a title than Kawhi's Clippers have gotten for not even making a finals. Kawhi has the knees of an 85-year-old man, and Paul <laughs> George is the human version of the Atlanta Falcons. This team will always have the talent and will always choke when it matters most. Steve Ballmer has the I'm making that three-pointer. Okay. Fuck the Clippers. Los Angeles Lakers. 
Lakers fans Lakers, are the you know what I'm saying? of the NBA. Kobe Bryant is the most overrated player in NBA history. He is constantly put in Bro, I want to look. I got something to say. And you know who you are. And I do call on some subscribers saying some shit. This, the, I had a subscriber trying to tell me that Kobe was better than LeBron. And I'm sitting there like, eh, I, ain't, I ain't even reply yet because I'd be busy. And, and, you know what I'm saying? But if you're watching this, what perk 30 are you on, bro? Kobe is not on LeBron's level. Mentality-wise, I will say that. But if you literally tell me, I'm not a big LeBron fan. I'm pretty sure I got some LeBron fans on my channel that would, t that would probably torch MJ and LeBron I'm sorry. on that level. Kobe wasn't even the best player on his own team for the majority of his ranks. Congrats on watching Shaq average 35 points a game in the finals. Facts. Got times. carried. You know what I'm saying? Than LeBron. Speaking of LeBron, without him blessing this shit franchise in 2018, they would be going on a decade of losing seasons because they're run by a woman whose Twitter abby is something you'd see on OnlyFans. It's really tough to be bad with LeBron on your team, but this shit franchise has managed to do it. Imagine how bad they'll be once LeBron leaves. Memphis Grizzlies. One of Dylan fuck. Brooks' Aaron shots just Myth walked is. through my living room window as I said this. Thanks a lot, Dylan. For the first time in nearly three decades, this team actually has an exciting young star to build around. That's progress. But guess what? It doesn't matter. John Morant could develop into a top five point guard ever, and Memphis will still never win shit because it's Memphis. Morant will always be a defensive liability, and I wouldn't be surprised if he demands. But it's going to be Captain John Morant against Wade. What potential superstar player would ever want to willingly live in Memphis for the majority of their adult life? Miami Heat. Bro, you playing it with a guy like John Morant? Honestly, I'm not even that mad about that slander, you know what I'm saying? Other than, of course, you're going to say that, goddamn. Um, you're not going to win shit in Memphis. I'll guarantee you next year the Memphis Grizzlies are going to the NBA Finals. Um, take it or give it, you feel me? Um, yeah. Guess what, Heat fans? Nobody gives a fuck about your Heat culture. We always hear about how Eric Spolstra is such a great coach, and yet his offenses have almost always been below average outside of the LeBron years. Why is that? Is the he got that dog in him not a sound offensive strategy? You had a game seven at home to go back to the finals and blew it. Maybe if you didn't waste a roster spot on Udonis Haslam's corpse for the 10th straight year. How is he still in the NBA? I'm not going to lie. I'm producing better than him but if I'm on the uh, Heat. Anything in the playoffs without LeBron the rest of his career. Yes, LeBron choked in the 2011 Finals, but Wade was even worse in the 2011 Conference Finals and Damn. 2014 NBA Finals. Milwaukee Bucks. If Giannis was 6'2 instead of 6'11, he'd be working at Red Robin. Giannis is a monster, <laughs> but despite his dominance, I still don't fear him. Yo, it's not been as many air balls. Because he can't shoot. Let's be real. Oh my Milwaukee's gosh. 2021 title was lucky. LeBron was hurt. Anthony Davis was hurt. Kawhi was hurt. Harden was hurt. Kyrie was hurt. If KD was one inch back, they would have lost in the second round. Giannis goes it's not down. as many clips you air Balling, bro, this could not be me. No cap. The Bucks are never winning another title with Giannis, and maybe that's because the team takes after its co-owner Aaron Rodgers, always choking in the playoffs outside of one year. <laughs> that's tough. It would be a shame if you blew up your future to acquire Rudy Gobert. Oh shit, you actually did it! What a bunch of idiots! And you didn't. Even I feel get like that's not gonna work out. Russell, a guy who actively a makes lot. every team he plays for worse. Trash. Oh, look, another protester just glued themselves to your home court. Kevin Garnett is far and away the best player this shit franchise has ever produced. But if we're being real. He was a fake tough guy and a mental midget in the playoffs. If he was truly as great as Tim Duncan, like his supporters say, he would have won more than two playoff series in 12 years. New Orleans Pelicans. For Damn. a franchise that has never made it beyond the second round, despite having Chris Paul and Anthony Davis at their best, Pelicans fans can be lot. Pelicans are going to be tough this year. Flash, you didn't win the Anthony Davis trade, and the only way you'll ever win the Anthony Davis trade is if you win two titles with Brandon Ingram. Bragging about no, a spot from the Lakers that you haven't won a playoff series with yet is hilarious. Have some fucking shame. None of this will even matter <laughs> if Zion doesn't reach his legendary potential, which at this point it looks like he most likely will not. Nah, no, I feel like he is. It's the Knicks. Oklahoma City Thunder. I could talk about it. He most likely will not. New York Knicks. It's the Knicks. Oklahoma City Thunder. I. If I'm a Knicks fan, I'll be, I'll be actually happy. He ain't take the time to get on your franchise. I could talk about how this franchise <laughs> That's tough, though. zero titles with Durant, Westbrook, and Harden together, or how Kevin Durant cuffed them in 2016. But those stories have been rehashed millions of times. Katie's still a cupcake already. for that. Damn, I can't that. believe we lost that. Years, the have done the same I remember, thing man, I remember being I was mad, year, bro. I was a kid. Process, and I've gotten none of the I think shit I fell asleep on the game. Sam Presti is a media darling. Resting healthy players for no reason to tank and get high draft picks like Chet Holmgren, and potentially Victor Wembenyama next year. Guess I seen that nigga. If we get him on the Thunder next year, that man is, is I've never seen nothing like him, bro. He's seven five, dribble and shoot like KD. If we get him, 
what? This strategy is like crypto. It sounds good and gives you also for the future, but so it definitely over. ends up being a complete dud. Enjoy it, OKC fans. Orlando Magic. I followed the NBA religiously, and I completely forgot the Magic made the playoffs back-to-back -back years in 2019 and 2020. That sums up how relevant this team is. The only thing this waste of a franchise is good for is robbing everybody of a Kobe LeBron finals in 2009 and giving away all NBA big men to the Lakers at their peak. Imagine that. Losing a finals to the Lakers and giving away the two best players you ever had to the Lakers. Guess where the Lakers won their last title in 2020? That's right, Orlando. The Magic exists solely to be the Lakers' bitch. Philadelphia <laughs> Joel and B just flopped through my living room window as I said this. The 76ers <laughs> spent an entire decade bragging about the process and for what? Really, what has it gotten them? Damn. The second round exits? And B is a fucking disgrace to watch while he's flopping and ref baiting and has consistently gotten hurt and played worse in the playoffs his entire career. He's still never played multiple playoff series in the same season without missing a game. He's the actual street clothes that people call Anthony Davis. Oh yeah, James Harden's on the team too, but he's fat and washed up, so who cares? Good luck winning with Dr. Rivers. <laughs> Phoenix Suns. Yo. Well, Suns fans, you had your little two-year window of being relevant. And yeah, it's gonna be trash How next ironic year. is it that you passed up Luka in 2018 for DeAndre That's Aiden, tough. and Luka went into your house in Game 7 and dropped his nuts all over your team? Any team that employs Chris Paul will always be cursed in the playoffs. Devin Booker is extremely inconsistent and gets a little bit over Yo, I seen Devin Booker on the cover. My name, by that. You don't even deserve it. Player the last few years have shown that. I also haven't forgotten about all the shit Robert Sarbury's done for the Meyer. Did you know that Dane is loyal and not like other stars? What a fucking hero. In reality, Dane didn't deserve to make <laughs> I go live. Dane was one of the sharp legends. He's never played any defense, and although he has a few famous postseason buzzer beaters, his playoff career is pretty bad outside of a few series. The Blazers won't win any titles as long as he is their best player. Yeah, I'm sorry. Dane can say he's never been accused of rape like his head coach, though. Great job Damn. settling out of court, Chauncey. Totally innocent thing. I forgot Billy Billings was the head coach. I don't think Kings fans even exist anymore, but I'll give it my best shot. Blaming the 2002 Bro, Kings are poverty. Oh my gosh, they haven't made the playoffs since yeah, 1955. Six, but you still had a game seven at home. The game was up for grabs late, and you guys didn't make it. This is the last time they made the playoffs, bro. 1950. Damn. Final seconds of game four. You guys would have gone up 3 1. That's not on the reps. The series was there for the taking. Oh my gosh, bro. Nigga, I'm splashing that, no count. Had you won it all in 2002, maybe you'd get over the mental hump and become a dynasty. This is sad, bro. Look. This one, you should at least sell the franchise or delete it. How have we not made the playoffs? This this much. Going 16 years straight without making the playoffs. San Antonio Spurs. The Spurs were the model franchise for two decades, and now they've devolved into shit. But that doesn't stop the media from propping up Greg Popovich, which is ironic. I ain't gonna lie, I probably fall asleep at a Spurs game. Like I know everybody loves Tim Even in my favorite the teams was playing. Career, the guy put up Carlos Boozer numbers offensively the last decade of his career. He never got any shit for losing or under Carlos Boozer was a dog, though, bro. Don't get it wrong. Day he retired. I still don't know how he did it. If your team had made just a few more free throws in 2013, we'd have six rings right now instead of five. This might not seem like a big deal until you realize your team is never winning any rings ever again. Ray Allen, Toronto Raptors. Hey, remember when the Raptors won the NBA title not even five years ago? <laughs> Me neither. That's because the team's entire relevance that was five years ago. Saying, and once he pieced out in free agency, the Raptors went back to being forgotten. Had Kawhi stayed, the Raptors might have had another ring or two now. But I guess Canada. That they is probably all that's cracked up to be. Drake sucks and LeBron still owns you all. Utah Jazz. The best player in franchise history impregnated a 13-year-old, and the second best player in franchise history is a conspiracy weirdo who never scored 35 points in an NBA game despite having nearly 1,700 tries at it. Utah is also famous for being one of the most racist environments for black I wouldn't play for Utah. It's karma that this team has never won a ring, probably never will now that they're rebuilding again. Jazz fans single-handedly made Rudy Gobert the most hated player in the league with their advanced Boy, stats. I remember seeing that. State of Utah sucks ass. And Feel finally, me? the Washington Wizards. How do you trigger a fan base whose team hasn't made a conference finals oh since my the Oh my gosh. Do Wizards fans even exist? John Wall is the last legit good player this team I forgot has about had. Bradley Billy. So, I ain't gonna lie. I went to D.C. like six years ago. The, the, the stadium is like... It's just kind of just put in a... In a just weird. Like, you just drive down the street and it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of about Baltimore, too. It's, it's weird, man. That was six years ago. Gilbert Arenas will live on forever in NBA lore, even though he was only good for three years and is a legitimate psychopath. The Wizards are so relevant that people don't even want to acknowledge that Michael Jordan played for them. Much like Yamcha from Dragon Ball Z, Damn. the Wizards used to be important, but as time progressed, they've just become more and more erupted. I ain't gonna lie, that was cold, bro. But hey, man, um, 
definitely slandered some guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. You slandered a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all come down below. How y'all feeling that video, man? You do make sure I come below the 10K. He, he slandered me with the Bulls because Derrick Rose is Derrick my favorite player of all time. He did slander me a little bit of the Grizzlies. It's kind of hate, so like, I ain't really trip. But LKC, okay, so he ain't really get on too much. But the Bulls, I had to say what I had to say. You know what I'm saying? Baby, man, you do make sure I come below the 10K. Nothing seems but let you know, man. Wow.